Welcome to the announcement of the results of the 2014 Chardonnay Challenge. I think that it's a celebration of Australian wine in the broad sense, but obviously in the particular area of Chardonnay, which is the most exciting variety uh, in Australia these days. We are producing wines of world quality, so I do hope that everyone will be as pleased with the results uh, as I am. 2014 has seen the James Halliday Chardonnay Challenge take another step up in terms of intensity. We've got more entrants than ever before. The results have been really good from around the country. Diversity is the key and, and diversity in those results I think is attracting people from different regions. Obviously see some positive aspects in entering their Chardonnay which is great and probably shows in the increased entries. There are a lot of regions now producing a lot of different styles and uh, they're all pretty you know, world-class wines in my opinion. We're looking to respect those styles across all regions of Australia and find the best wine at the end of the day. Once we've gotten through all of the entries for the Chardonnay Challenge, we'll end up with the regional winners and then they'll all come back um, randomised so that we don't know which is which. And then if there's a clear winner, job done. But usually it's not so simple, so then we'll vote on it. The style at the moment is getting quite lean, but um, you know, lots of richness, lots of layers, lots of texture, great ageability. We're seeing some really lovely, bright examples and rich styles of Chardonnays as well, which are, are really treading that nice line between richness, but also having some uh, more ethereal, you know, deft touches to it as well. Certainly the 13 vintage from across the country looks pretty positive, I'd have to say. There are some 12s in there that are, that are holding on, but the 13s, the, the freshness and vibrance and fruit power looks great, so I really look forward to seeing the results. And now for the best of region Chardonnays. 2013 Montalto, the 11 Chardonnay from the Mornington Peninsula and 95 points. 2012 Snake and Herring Hallelujah Chardonnay from the Great Southern, Western Australia, 96 points. 2011 Eagles Rest Maluna Chardonnay from the Hunter Valley, 96 points. 2013 Rosemount District Release Chardonnay from Robe on the Limestone Coast, 96 points. 2013 Bay of Fires Chardonnay from Tasmania, 96 points. 2013 Wirrawera, the 12th man from the Adelaide Hills, 97 points. 2013 Fighting Gully Road Chardonnay from Beechworth, 97 points. 2013 Civil Estate Reserve Chardonnay from the Yarra Valley, 97 points. And the winner of this year's challenge is 2013 Deep Woods Estate Reserve Chardonnay from Margaret River, which scored 98 points. So this year's challenge brought together uh, wines from across the nation, diverse terroir, climate, New faces, old faces, but a really wonderful snapshot of Australian Chardonnay today.